Hey guys, how's it going? Today, we are talking about the DM coating system. That's Benito, one of our uh, star tractor drivers here at the factory. That dude, telling you what, if you ever need a boost of confidence, you know, wanna, wanna uh, put a smile on your face, you know, just, all you gotta do is be within 10 feet of Benito. The man smiles and rides, he rides that tractor, takes pride in his job, day in and day out, rain, snow, sleet, or hail, Benito is the man, he's on the tractor. But anyways, back to the topic at hand, DM coating. Many people ask, you know, it's powder coat, right? Well, it is a powder coat product, but kind of going back, you know, when we came out with DM coating a couple of years ago, we wanted to give it some other name other than just powder coat because if you've, if you've been around trailers or you know, had history in the trailer industry, powder coat has not always been such a, it's not always been a good name or a good thing. And that's because years ago when powder coat was introduced into the trailer industry, there were some of your, even guys that are name brand uh, companies today, name brand, name brand brands of trailers today, that started doing powder coat, but you know, really skimped out on the either the prep process or uh, used really cheap powder or used no primer, some any variation of of those things. But at the end of the day, created a really crappy, for lack of better words, just a crappy, low performing, you know, coating. When it came out of the oven. It looked great and it may look great for six months or a year, but over time, especially, you know, for the, the type of customers that we, you know, our target customer who we build trailers for, you know, they're, they're workers. And so they get out there and get, get to working. And, and of course, trailers, when they're worked, they get scratched, they get scraped. You break the coating, moisture gets under it. It, it starts spreading or leaching under the coating like a disease and before you know it, you've got huge chunks of powder coat coming off the trailer um, and it's just, it's bad. And there is no repairing it. So just to be, be you know, transparent, straightforward, we sold against powder coating for a long time. We sprayed liquid paint from, from when Diamond C started all the way up until 2018, we sprayed liquid paint. We ended up with a liquid polyurethane, was a PPG product, was really good, had an epoxy primer under it, um, but the way things work, you're allowed so much VOC into the atmosphere, um, which is kind of like, um, you know, the, the overspray and things that goes up the, up the stacks. And anyways, a lot of government, you know, EPA type stuff. But you're, anyway, we, we got to the point where Diamond Sea had grown and we had to make a decision whether we go with some other form of liquid paint or uh, which is not as good or we go to powder. And we knew, we knew when we did it, we had several customers who were definitely, you know, opposed to it, had been, had experienced some of those other brands that I was telling you about. And we knew that we had a large hill to climb because, but, but the opportunity was there. It, it was the, um, we knew after the, doing research that powder done right, with the right preparation and the right products, far superior far better corrosion resistance, far better durability. And so we spent from 2016 midway, um, well, probably even maybe late 2015, a couple of years developing what we call the DM coating uh, system. And it's not just the powder coat. It, it's so many people, they think, oh, it's just powder. It's not just the powder, it's the process and we're, it's very intentional. Like you go, this big long building right here behind me is the DM Coatings finishing building. It's where trailers go in, the first station, they are uh, prepped, uh, media blasted, then washed, then primer, then top coat, then baked. All of that is done in this building and it, every step of the way is essential in the final the final product the final dm coating you know being beautiful with this cement gray being not just pretty to look at but being super durable you know long lasting you know and and this stuff is now several years in the making 
as far as being tested in some of the harshest climates in North America, North Dakota, Alaska, um, you know, it gets really nasty in those areas with salt spray and I mean down on the coast and so anyways, it's not just a quick process. It's not just, you know, uh, wash it off and throw, throw coating on it. The DM coating system was, was very well thought out again couple of years it, uh, the distance between the booths the type of product used all very intentional to give yield the, the type of coating that we have here so we've got eight eight standard colors eight or nine so a black metallic blue the white silver um, charcoal gray cement gray uh, red we have all of those and then we also have several custom colors as well which is is something that we've always you know, taken pride in. We like to show, uh, have differentiation. We like for our customers to be able to stand out, whether you know, you're on the job side or you're going to the racetrack, whatever, you know, whatever, your, whatever your personality is, we like to, you know, for you to be able to match that. We're not just cookie cutter and only black. You see this, the nice red, bright red F-Max. We saw back over there, the lime green, uh, all of these colors have the same same durability, same um, same gloss. So we're going to walk through and give you a quick run through on the the DM coating system, right quick. You know, just so you can see what I was talking about on all the the differentiating steps throughout the the process. You know, when the trailer comes over from the weld building um, over to the the powder coat building and, and everything. The line's not running right now. We're between shifts. We've got the day shift just left. And so the night shift is, is coming in. But I'll show you right over here. You got trailers all stacked up, you know, being prioritized by, you know, by product line, by priority as far as load, shipping. Uh, you can see up here, there is this uh, bridge that the trailers are hanging from. The guys that are sorting them are bringing them in. They hang them from a chain from this bridge. This bridge is a, is a driven conveyor. It's ran by this very low gear reduction motor back in the back. And this building is 900 feet long. They go down, make a huge loop. You can see it, this gooseneck right here is going into the first bay which is the media blast then these trailers are coming back out these are cured being finished so media blast a lot of folks know the term sandblast you know they it's a it's a way that you can see kind of like what we call mill scale and surface rust, flash rust from sitting outside this trailer's been welded it came across the street came in has been sorted batch about to go into media blast but it's got all of this, you know, these little impurities and just kind of stuff on top. It's got some, a few weld BBs and stuff. And so it's going in to Media Blast. That's over 100 PSI of still shot particles that they blast. There's mm, three operators in this booth and they're just, they're dominating the trailer. Trying to get every bit of that mill scale and BBs, slag, all of that off of the top of the metal to get it ready to be washed and be made optimum for primer to body in. So Media Blast is something that we did not have prior to the uh, DM coatings. And a lot of guys skip out on it. It's not, I mean, it's not cheap. There's no doubt about that. It's not cheap to build a booth like this. And, but we knew coming into it, if we were gonna design the DM coating system to be ultra durable and gonna be long lasting like the ultimate powder coat that we had to do it we had to invest in it so you can see as this one has come through it's been media blasted it kind of has that whitish tint that's where it's taken basically the top layer off the top of the metal so it's getting ready to go into the next stage which is a wash system there are applicators, hand applicators in here as well. They are spraying anything from uh, 
pH balancers, there's acids, there's soaps, there is adhesion promoters. There's about five different things that they spray in this booth and it takes this trailer right here behind me that we looked at and gets the, the substrate or the metal of it, gets it really optimum for primer to set in and really bite into the metal. All of these things, it, what I'm showing you, like the distance between the booths, all of this very intentional in the design of the DM coating process. If you didn't have this, it would be shortchanging the system. And that's what you run into in the trailer industry so often is, is that expense being spared for the sake of, oh, we need to get another trailer out. Or, you know, or it saves 10 bucks a trailer. Doesn't sound like a lot. We're not in, in, in when we were designing this, we're not, you know, going to sacrifice that 10 bucks a trailer. But some guys do because if I build, you know, 10,000 trailers, 10 bucks a trailer, whew, I made a few more dollars, but not at the expense of the customer's experience. So, all right, moving on, on down. The wash is, is obviously critical because that's rinsing off all of that stuff that Media Blast uh, loosened up. It's, it's getting all that off, washing it off, but also then, like I said, with the pH balancer and the adhesion promoter, it's now setting up the metal for the primer. There's another checkpoint here between wash and the dry oven. This is a forced dry oven, several hundred degrees, trailer travels through this force dry oven and of course what it sounds like it force dries the metal gets all the moisture off of it to where it's getting ready for primer to be applied it makes it to where the system can just move quicker this next checkpoint between force dry and primer right now again we're between shifts but there's usually there's these lots of there's inspectors they take air wands blowing in the crevices and stuff to make sure that they get all that moisture out of all the cracks and crevices to where that the powder primer can, it, can adhere, can bite in, and there's no moisture under it stopping it. So the next conversation or next topic when we talk about primer is huge. I say that because as I alluded to earlier, there are manufacturers back in the day and there's manufacturers that still produce trailers today that do not use a primer, which has always been just, just crazy to me, it, insanely crazy. Because if you think about it, would you ever paint uh, even, I mean, anything hardly without, without a primer? It's just asinine. I, you know, primer is setting yourself up for failure. There's just no question about it. So, we not only use a powder primer, we use what is a zinc enriched primer, which the zinc particle in it be a metallic electrostatic process, which uh, we, we charge the trailer with a electrical charge and then the electrostatic guns spray the material and it sucks it to the trailer. So just kind of a quick lesson on electrostatic, but um, the zinc enriched primer really bites into the metal or the substrate. That way, if you ever do, and of course, I'll just show you, this is a, a prime trailer. There's a prime trailer behind me, in front of me. But if you ever fracture the powder coat, which can and will happen on a trailer, the zinc and rich primer, the beauty of it, it'll localize the fracture. So it, it, it bites down in the metal, and wherever it's broke, it does not allow moisture to seep and spread, um, as I alluded to earlier, like a disease, which is a really, obviously it's a good thing. Whereas with no primer, the crazy way of doing it, no primer, that the moisture just runs wild through the trailer and you have that disease that we talked about. And so not only are we using just a, a, a really good primer, we are using a zinc enriched primer that is a huge. We're gonna gonna go right here's this prime trailer i'm gonna try and get through this little place right here hopefully i don't rub all right so sweet so this is and now i'm inside the uh heated and cooled you can see it's this whole room is a building inside of a building it's heated and cooled we're still inside the same uh dm coatings building the finished facility that we were in a while ago 
but we just saw this is the booth that those trailers came out of that's a primer booth they go down and make a circle and so this right here is a a top coat booth and then the second top coat booth these are all coming through for color this is a black booth this is a color booth so all these are coming through for different colors but it's pretty pretty cool the powder coat is kind of persnickety i always tell you know when we do tours this uh powder coat you know they the reason why this building is heated and cooled is it's got to stay between a certain temperature range which i believe is like 68 and 86 degrees so not a bad place to work during the summertime in texas is in this room because it stays nice and cool and then when it gets cold which not as cold as some of y'all but when it gets cold it stays pretty pleasant in here as well so all of, i mentioned all the different colors the black ones you know obviously we do a lot of volume in black but you can see all the different boxes of color and these are going through in the color booth and we do the, the different colors. So no matter whether it's black or the other colors, it's gonna get the same, same attention to detail. It's gonna get the same uh, primer under it and then it gets the top coat. So it's one of our Sherwin-Williams reps down there. Sherwin-Williams has been a phenomenal partner for Diamond C. You know, we've had challenges. We, we have issues from time to time, you know, and with equipment, it's just the name of the game. But Sherwin-Williams has been lights out, very responsive. So they're, they're a pleasure to work with. Some of our guys getting ready for the, the night shift. So everybody wanna say hi? hi. Hello. <laughs> All right. So one of those guys was uh he's been with us man since i was shoot since i was little bitty uh it's pretty cool his name is hector he's been painting he liquid painted trailers for my mom and dad years and years ago and he made the transition in 2018 to powder coat so pretty interesting had no experience with powder coat and just yeah, he loves it now so this trailer we're out of that we just came out of that room that's the top coat this one looks like primer but I don't know if you can see, you can see the specs in it. This is actually silver metallic. So it goes on. I, if you've ever had any, any uh, experience with powder coat, it really goes on like pixie dust powder. I mean, they kind of fan it, fog it on the trailer and it rolls over all the different pieces of metal. And the idea is it comes through here. So we've got our dry powder primer and we've got our dry powder top coat, this one being silver. Now it's going into this Gosh, okay, 100 and, 165 foot, I think it is, uh, final cure oven. It goes into here at 430 degrees, takes about 30 minutes to travel through that oven. And that's where the magic happens. Everything that's done all up to that point, super important, but the magic happens right here. It's all for the money right there because it, it heats up that powder and turns it into a uh, liquid, almost liquefies it, gels, if you will, and encapsulates the metal. And when it comes out the other end of this oven, it's cured. I mean, it's 99% cured because you'll notice right when it comes out, we've got teams that are staged up, ready, and they're putting on axles and they're doing wiring and they're doing all that, that fun stuff. You can see this white has just come out. That's where we were. There's several trailers in there baking right now. You can see them on down there. They're baking. Woo, it's, it's hot, hot right here. But you've got this white trailer. They've already got axles hung. They hang axles as they're moving. They're getting ready to do hydraulics. Everything happens on this line as these trailers are moving. 99 or 95% of the finished work it's really cool is done while while the trailer is moving on this driven conveyor so axles wheels tires uh, wiring stickers pin straps everything they can pretty well uh, hook up hydraulic brakes air ride everything sometimes you know if there's so much if it's hydraulic brakes hydraulic uh, dovetail air ride the whole works they'll come offline and go to the side to, to get finished. But it's really neat. You can see as we go further down, this is a really cool F-Max 307. 
Got the deck on the neck, hydraulic jacks. This one's the hydraulic, this is the pump for the hydraulic jacks. This is your hydraulic brake pump. Triple 7K torsion disc brakes. Super cool. Valkram aluminum oil caps. But you see all of this stuff, all of this is done as the trailer is, is hanging on the line. And then of course, once it leaves the line at the end, the idea is it lands on its tires at the end. All it's gotta do at that point is be tested. We've got checkers at the door testing lights, testing hydraulics, making sure everything is working as it should be. The only thing that doesn't happen on the line or one of the, thing, the, the things that definitely doesn't happen on the line is it does not get the floor. If it's wood floor, there's a flooring station. Obviously that sounds kind of crazy to be trying to floor a trailer while it's hanging. It's a pretty sweet HDT white winch. It's got a winch mount. It's got hydraulic jacks. That means it's a powered tilt. Torsion axles, really clean. I just love, love the white when it's fresh. So you can see on this one, the around these cross members and these, these welds, the difference that that, difference that the media blast and all the wash and all that prep, the difference that it makes is just crazy. Um, that's why we call it the DM coating system. It's funny, DM coating is the difference maker coating system. Cliche, you can throw rocks at me, don't really care because it's the truth. DM coating, you know, when all these things are done the way that they're supposed to do, it's unmatched. The coating is really, really durable and again, super corrosion resistant. So DM coating. We've got other videos. You can go on and see um, if a video, just look up DM coating on YouTube. There's another one where we do a tour and you can see it in the process as far as actually applying the coating. Again, today they're, they're between shifts. So, but I just wanted, it's a little quieter. So I wanted to be able to do a tour through the, the finished building and you get kind of the full, slower kind of grasp of it and give some of that backstory about the DM coating system, how it came to be, you know, why we chose to go the route we did um, wouldn't look back for sure. You know, there's no doubt that that the DM coating system is far and above the liquid that we used to spray, which, you know, we had a pretty good name in the industry for our liquid paint job. And so th there's just no doubt that that all things considered, the DM coating system is, is a superb, superb finished job. So, all right, guys, that's it for today. If you've got any, you know, any feedback for us, drop it in the comments below. Make sure to uh, like this video, you know, subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel. Make sure to follow us on all the major social channels and we'll see you on the road.